Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Sundial Growers. The report was first published on our website February 9, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video we give you the information you need to know about Sundial Growers for the upcoming trading day on Thursday 10th, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Sundial Grower's performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Sundial Grower's stock currently holds a 3.920 score, and our system has ranked Sundial Growers by candidate since February 9, 2022. Over the next few days, we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Sundial Growers our last headline reads, On Wednesday Sundial Growers Incorporated stock price gained impressive 13.03%. The Sundial Growers Incorporated stock price gained 13.03% on the last trading day, Wednesday, February 9, 2022, rising from 50 cents to 57 cents. During the day the stock fluctuated 9.96% from a day low at 53 cents to a day high of 58 cents. The price has risen in 5 of the last 10 days and is up by 24.05% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 123 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 181 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $103.12 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $3.96, and the lowest price was $0.40. Cents. Right now the price is 85.63%, or $3.39, below 52-week high and 95.7%, or $12.65 below all-time high August 7, 2019, where the price hit $13.22. The Sundial Growers Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock, but first the trends. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 28.05% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 125.54% and 160.23%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 54.93% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 79.95% and 131.24%. This equals a price between $1.02 and $1.32 and after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, May 13, 2021 Canaccord Genuity set target to sell, hold. On Friday, March 19, 2021 Canaccord Genuity set target to hold, sell. On Tuesday, March 16, 2021 BMO Capital Markets set target to market perform, underperform. On Tuesday, March 16, 2021 Cantor Fitzgerald set target to neutral. From analyst Sundial Growers stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give PE ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Sundial Growers stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Sundial Growers. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The Sundial Growers Incorporated stock holds by signals from both short and long term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock, but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long term average is above the short term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at 51 cents and 55 cents. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. 
A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, January 27, 2022, and so far it has risen 31.84%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence, divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence, divergence, holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a buy signal 10 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 61 days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal 9 days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 52 days. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average gave a buy signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 58 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 50 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Sundial Growers Sundial Growers Incorporated find support from accumulated volume at $0.57, cents, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.0528 between high and low, or 9.96%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 8.61%. The stock has a beta of 1.69. This tells us that Sundial Growers is 0.69 times more volatile than the market. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2021 is expected to be released March 17, 2022. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Sundial Growers meets first resistance at 59 cents. If you do not hold Sundial Growers shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Sundial Growers finds first level of support at 57 cents and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are Buy at 54 cents, 53 cents, 51 cents. Sell at 58 cents, 59 cents, 61 cents. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Sundial Growers is buy. Our recommended stop loss is 55 cents, minus 3.84%. This stock has high daily movements and this gives high risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 9 days ago. Is Sundial Growers stock a buy? Several short-term signals are positive, despite the stock being in a falling trend, we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for stock to perform well in the short term. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Thursday 10th we expect Sundial Growers to open down negative $0.0084 and start trading at $0.56. Cents. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.